confessed to a murder that he was no way, there was no possibility that he could have done the murder, but he confessed to it. He's obsessed with criminal justice. He thinks it's funny to taunt the police. Leave that crazy nigga alone. <laughs> Hello there, Bellas. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share to Facebook, and subscribe because it is so important to our success here on the YouTube. And if you are not already a part of our Bella Book Club, ooh, y'all, y'all gonna be mad at me. I'm finna throw y'all in the trick bag. I love you, I love you, but I'll explain it later, okay? But anyway, if you're not already a part of our book club, please remember to hit the Patreon link below and or the join button here on the YouTube and for a small monthly fee. You babies, yes, you can be privy to all the shenanigans before the YouTube gets it, if the YouTube gets it. Now, let's talk about the Denzel. Oh, God, it's Grandpa Denzel in this movie, y'all. It's called the Grandpa Denzel, y'all. I was, I, I, he is not aging well. Oh shit! They didn't put, they didn't do nothing. Y'all ain't put no Botox or no fillers in the Denzel. Or no I mean, what? Why not? Let's talk about Denzel Washington's The Little Thing. He is in the okay. theaters now, right? But because, you know, ain't nobody going to the theaters right down the street. They didn't open up a brand new magnificent theater, okay? But ain't nobody going. So I know the owners of that theater is in tears, okay? And friggin' tears. The Corona has freaked everybody up, okay? But at any rate, it's at the theaters now also, but it's also on HBO Max. And me and my wife watched it on it HBO with a white Max. Girl. It always starts off with a white girl, okay? The white girl driving in her car, mm, it's the 90s, okay? Matter of fact, it is 1990, all right? She listening to either the Go-Go's or uh, what is that? Rome if you want to roam around the world. Is that Banana Rama? I'm not sure. And, you know, don't look at me sideways because I know who these people are, but she listening, right? She on the highway, okay? And then she notices, wait a minute, it's a car behind me. This motherfucker is following me. That's a concern, okay? So what she does is, you know, she, uh, you know, feels frightened. And what she does when she feels frightened because this dude is following her, she decides to get out and go to a gas station that's black. Not black people, but dark. Ain't nobody in there, bitch. Why would you go to a gas station? Ain't nobody there, nigga. Ain't nobody pump gas. The lights ain't on in the uh, Quickie Mart. Nothing. Why did you get okay? out of the car? So anyway, the person that's chasing her or following her stops off at the gas station also. Okay? She's scared for her life. Oh, the good boogeyman is coming to get me. He's coming to get me. Yes, bitch, he's coming to get you. You know why he's coming to get you? Because your dumb ass didn't push it to the damn closest uh, place with the lights on, girl. 7-Eleven's everywhere, okay? You could have pushed that shit to the 7-Eleven. Fortunately, the young lady found a road, you know, after getting out of her car, foolishly, okay? Because that ninja was going to get her, all right? Because the man that was following her got out the car. All right. And was setting it up real good. Child, he opened her car door up, put the ropes and the, you know, hacking saw, whatever it was that he was going to hack her ass up with in her car because he was going to 
tie her up, hack her up, and then drive her to wherever he was going to drive her to. But she got away because uh, she ran to the main road and a uh, trucker seen her and she was able to get in. Me, I'm not getting in no trucker car either, okay? Y'all ain't never seen Pee Wee Herman's. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure with Large Marge, never. I would never get in a trucker car because I always think that Large Marge is in there waiting to uh, kill me. Uh, uh, Grandpa Denzel, y'all, he is Asian bad. I was looking at my wife, I said, is that a fat suit? Does he have a fat suit on? Oh, do y'all remember Denzel Washington? The out of time Denzel Washington. Oh my God, no, what happened to my Denny? What happened to Jow's Denny? In the, and, and then y'all, hold on y'all, we are gonna get back to it. You know, Denzel don't never get a shape up, right? And I said to myself, that's how he was able to keep his hairline. But then I looked further. I said, God damn it, this Denzel been perming his hair for years. Child. I said, wait a minute, that's that a bad Negro permed his hair down, child. We see you, Denzel. We see you. Permed his hair down. I know a permed head, okay? I know when a ninja permed my head. Thick thighs did, he's did that shit for years. Okay, if he ain't still doing it. But he permed his head down. So then that way, if his headline is going back, you can't see it because he didn't permed it down where he got a bang, a little small bang. And, and you know, you can still see his widow's peak, but I'm just saying, man, why that nigga don't never get his headline shaped up? And now we see why. Wait, they they come in jail, right? And he is Deputy Sheriff Joe Deek, i.e. Deacon. Okay, now he is from Los Angeles. He is from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's now, Department. He was called to Bakersfield County, okay, to help them gather evidence for something else. All right. Now there's three main characters in this before we go further. We got uh Denny, Grandpa Denny, okay. Then we got the Joker. That would be uh his name is Jay Leto. He is the sexiest joker oh my god he's so sexy he had the green hair he was in um a suicide squad Ooh, he was in suicide squad oh my god that he was the sexiest joker ever but in this movie i don't know what the hell it we was. got i'm like grandpa dizel jay leto the joker and then we have who is the third person freddie friggin mercury okay Freddie Mercury's character's name is Baxter, Detective Baxter, okay? Detective Baxter is working this case where young women were getting murdered, okay? That's his job. Now, Grandpa Denny and Freddie Mercury, that would be Detective Baxter, initially, they was bumping heads because Freddie Mercury got Grandpa Denny's uh, car tow because he parked that old ass truck in front of uh, Freddie Mercury's car. I don't have time for your bullshit. Freddie Mercury's uh, character, Detective Baxter, is there providing evidence to, I guess, the rest of the police that are a part of the homicide unit, right? Denzel Washington is watching mm -hmm. because he's been doing it. Let me tell you what I noticed very quickly. I said, why is it that this old ass sheriff Oh, and when you do jobs like that are relative to the criminal justice fields, you just don't wake up and be like, oh, I'm doing this. I noticed that he had no stripes on his arm. And normally when you come across a police officer or somebody in the criminal justice field that has been around for years and you can see gray in their beard and their face, look, if they ain't some kind of uh, supervisor or captain or you know major general, whatever that is, sometimes them motherfuckers been under disciplinary action, okay? They didn't got their stripes removed. It happens, it happens, okay? You just happy to still have a job, okay? They don't call you Sarge no more, they call you Barry, but you still Like I said, Freddie job. Mercury is talking to the rest of the homicide unit discussing the recent murders, okay? Denny, Grandpa Denny is on the outside listening because he is starting to see similarities between the case that he had did some years back and the case that Freddie Mercury is working on now, okay? Freddie Mercury is curious. Oh, that Denzel, he may have some uh, input. Yes, he may, okay? So now Freddie Mercury and Denzel Washington is walking together, having lunch, 
you know, skip that on Malula. Okay. And what was strange was that it was hard to see the character that played Freddie Mercury be a straight man, not because just it just was hard because when I see him, I see him as Freddie Mercury, not a family man. So that kind of threw me off. Okay. By the end of the movie, I still wasn't convinced, but I mean, nonetheless, he did a good now, the job. The night that Denzel and Freddie Mercury are becoming, you know, friends or whatever, or they decided to work together with this case, a young lady by the name of Rhonda Rathburn is followed by a car while jogging, okay? And is reported missing the following morning. Okay, now Baxter is in his feelings. He's like, no, I have got to find this because women are getting murdered, okay? I have a wife and two daughters. This has become personal to Baxter slash Freddie Mercury. So the next day, Baxter is at the precinct, okay? And the captain, the general, I don't know, the sergeant at arms, whatever, okay? He tells Freddie Mercury, uh, Freddie Mercury slash Detective Baxter, I see you around here running around with uh, Grandpa Denny. Okay, you better be careful because, uh, yeah, he's gotten trouble before, okay? Come to find out that Grandpa Denny had become obsessed with the case, okay? A case that looks familiar to what's going on Captain right tells now. Him, uh, back off, that nigga done lost his wife, his, his ranking, uh, had a triple bypass, a heart attack, all kinds of things, chasing behind a oh, an obsession with trying to find out or find a killer, okay? And it's true. All right, it's true because there were uh, there was a part in the movie where he had went to go visit or drive past the house that he used to share with his wife. Okay, he's very awkward. The wife is like, "Uh, are you okay, Daddy? What's going on? Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay. How are my girls? You should call them. You should call them. You ain't calling them. You ain't calling them. Something that's really, really happened that was devastating." to him and his family enough that he loses the everything. next night, they discover another body that was washed up underneath of a bridge that is consistent with uh, Grandpa Denny's case, okay? And the current murder cases that Freddie Mercury is uh, investigating, okay? They all were prostitutes and they all were stabbed to death, okay? Real, 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 real bad. Now, in the meantime, Denzel got his eye on the Joker. Okay, the guy Jay Leto or Leno, Jay, no, it's not Leno, because you know Leno is the big chin, used to be Tonight Show, but Jay Leto, I think his name is, yeah, Leto, okay. Jay Leto is having fun with this, okay? What's going on Because, so like I was saying, Denzel is on Sparma's neck, okay? He watching him. Sparma know that he is being watched. Denzel, okay? Grandpa Denzel broke into Sparma's apartment. Sparma knew he was up there. So what he did, Sparma, uh, hello, hello, police department. Hi, it's uh, officer, uh, it's a 187 or, you know, uh, something, whatever the code it is, uh, at this address in this apartment. The particular apartment was Sparma's apartment. Purposefully, he called the police, told the police that there's a dead officer in the apartment that Denzel Washington is illegally searching that belongs to okay? Sparma. Denzel escapes, but he is well aware that Sparma knows exactly what he was doing, okay? So now Denzel Washington and Freddie Mercury has decided to bring the dude Sparma in for questioning, okay? They don't like being taunted. They don't like that shit. Uh-uh, not at all, right? But then the captain, Sergeant at Arms, the one that told Freddie Mercury, uh, you might want to stay away from uh, Denzel because he's crazy, okay? He informed the two men, Freddie Mercury and Denzel Washington, uh, that one right there is crazy. This Negro didn't confess to murders before. He liked to play with the police. It's funny to him. He's unreliable. He had confessed to a murder that he was no way, there was no possibility that he could have done the murder, but he confessed to it. He's obsessed with criminal justice. He thinks it's funny to taunt the police. Leave that crazy nigga alone. So because they were unsuccessful with going through the man's apartments, they still staking him out. 
Sparma looking at them. Because it didn't out. work out where, you know, they were trying to break it to the dude house. They ain't fine. Or well, I think they did find some things, you know, some things, something. I, I don't know, but not enough to convict. You know, he might have souvenirs. Like, he a souvenir dude. Oh, what is that? Is that a bow rat? I'm going to pick that up. Okay. But it doesn't mean that he did not commit the murders. Although, Sparma, the Joker, said that he never killed a person in his life but he taunts the officer so he's very cool and Sparma right? goes to the strip club because he wants to watch some vagina okay i'm tired of tormenting the police i need some booty shaking all right so Sparma comes out catches the dude uh freddie mercury by himself hey freddie mercury i know you're fascinated with me you want to play a game let's play a game baby follow me i'll take you to where the dead bodies are, okay? Now, you know Freddie Mercury is in his head like, okay, I need to find out where these dead bodies are. I was shocked when he played that man game. You know, on one hand, I'm like, okay, maybe he feels he can play the man's game uh, because he feels like he got that pistol on him, you know, and he'll be safe. But I'd be goddamn if I'm getting in a dude who I'm uh, surveying or surveillancing car and that's what he did freddie mercury got in the car with the dude uh sharma who is the what am i saying Sh sparma who is the convicted or the suspected murderer of these different those prostitutes. two are driving away in sparma's car uh-huh denzel washington comes around the corner and like what the fuck is going on he's telling them okay now where sparma ends up taking freddie mercury is to a deserted area this nigga right here. He was like, oh yeah, let's go here. This is where it is. Ha ha ha. Get out. Indeed. Okay. Freddie Mercury's dumb ass gets the shovel and start digging because he's obsessed with finding one of these women that were killed. Okay. Just like, just like Denzel Washington was, Washington was obsessed with his case. Come to find out the reason why he is obsessed with his previous case was because he accidentally shot a victim, okay? While he was uh, searching for his murderer, wherever it was, a woman came out, started him, and boom, okay? It was covered up by the coroner's office. That's the reason why he was able to maintain Back with job. Pharma and Freddie Mercury, okay? Sparma is like, okay, it's right there. There's a hole. Dig it. Okay, there, there's the lady right there. Dig it. Okay, now why he digging? He three feet down. Sparma goes, oh, you know what? Mm, I don't think it's right there. It might be over there. Over there. Oh, he's I'm not digging. sure. Sparma jumps into action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I see you got this beautiful wife and these two beautiful daughters. Instantaneously, a burling comes up in his soul. Burling mean boiling, you know, where this seething anger just rises up. And it's hard to think of Freddie Mercury being violent, but he took the shovel that he was shoveling, you know, out the holes with and banged him in the head. Poor Sparma. Poor Sparma. See what happened when you play games? You get, okay? Sparma laying that knocked out. It's over. Lights out, okay? Denzel drives up. Denzel is like, what the hell happened here? But don't worry about it. I've been in your place before, niggas. We're going to take Denzel care. Denzel says to Freddie Mercury, just dig a hole and throw his ass in it. Okay? I'll be back. Denzel rides to the man's farmer's house. That would be the Joker, Jay Leto, and gets all his stuff and makes it look like he is moving. Okay, or that he decided to just pack his shiz and move. He grabs all the good stuff, throws it in a bag. Okay, everything that I guess a person would need to move. Go back right. to where the uh, uh, Freddie Mercury was with the uh, dead Joker, right? Mercury. There. Okay, Detective Baxter did not throw the dude in a hole like he was supposed to. What he was doing was digging holes looking for the dead body that Sparma said was there. There was no dead body in that area, okay? It was a big area, but Freddie Mercury was digging like a mother. Denzel mug. came back, helped him out. 
threw the body in there, threw the dirt on top of it, made everything clean. Brother, you're going to have to work this out. Don't worry about it. It's between me and you. I got this because I've been here before. Now he didn't say because I've been here before to Freddie Mercury, but he understands to have killed someone who was innocent, okay? Because he's digging those holes. He needs to feel a sense of relief that he did not kill an innocent Back man. Back at home, all right, we got Freddie Mercury sitting in the pool, watching his daughters play looking over yonder because he's still in his head about killing an innocent man. I'm like, oh, Freddie Murphy. Oh, that nigga could never live in the hood. You know how many people die accidentally his in the hood? His wife comes through the door and say, hey, baby, something came in the mail for you. Here you go, okay? She puts the envelope down beside him, okay? And inside the envelope was something that he needed, okay? It was the red barrette that one of the big the victims wore okay that is what denzel found in sparma's apartment okay so that takes a lot of the burden Ooh, it takes a lot of the burden off of um freddie mercury okay because now he's like okay that kill was justified because he actually did kill the young lady, because the young lady at the time uh, used to wear this red bow rat or something in but her hair. We're not done yet. Why? Because we go back to Denzel at his little double wide, where he living by himself in the woods, some damn where, right? And he's burning Jay Leto's stuff, the Joker stuff that he took from the apartment. Okay, he can't just you know throw it in the water or throw it in the trash. You got to burn that shit. Right. And one of the things that he burned was a Borat container. Is that what I call it? But like he had bought some Borats himself. One was missing. It was that red Borat. So it wasn't that Sparma had the red Borat. That's what Denzel did for Freddie Mercury in order to make him not feel bad for killing an innocent person the way that he carries that burden of killing an innocent. You have not already done so. Please remember to like, share to Facebook and subscribe because it is so important to our success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this, the same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. My naysayers, my patron loves you, babies. Y'all better have a good one. Peace. This is it.